I had no idea that writing a tall tale could be so hard. But as it turns out, I needn't have stress because something happened to me a couple of weeks ago that was stranger than any tall tale I could have come up with. As they say, truth is stranger than fiction. And I found that out when I took my family to the Arizona Renaissance Festival. Now, the first thing I noticed was that there was a copious amount of people wearing medieval costumes. The people that worked there were dressed up too. Well, I'm not really into the uh, period clothing sort of thing, so uh, I wore a cowboy hat. <coughs> I was probably the only one there wearing a cowboy hat. Well, we quickly made our, made our way to the uh, arena where they hold the jousting tournaments. Uh, and by the way, these things are more scripted than professional wrestling. We got some seats right down by the railing. You could look across and see the whole arena and over the way there was the... Uh, the royal court with the beautiful princess. Okay, so after a few jousts, the menacing Dark Knight appeared. And he quickly dehorsed all of his opponents. Now, after that, to the supposed delight of the princess, the champion appeared, and he quickly challenged the Dark Knight. Okay, so they encouraged us to choose a knight and cheer him on, so I, of course, chose the champion because I knew that he was scripted to win. He lost. <laughs> the Dark Knight quickly threw him off his horse. What? People were <sighs> booing all over the place, and the Dark Knight was going on and on about how great he was, and how there was no opponent worthy of his interest. Well, I was trash-talking pretty loudly at this point, but I was surprised when he suddenly focused his attention on me. <laughs> he looked at me and he said, You, the knave with the quaint-looking hat, dost thou even know how to light upon a horse? Well, I looked at him and I said, Dude, I was riding horses when you were wearing diapers watching Barney. <laughs> to which he replied, If that be a challenge, then make good upon it. And take up thy lance and thy shield. We shall joust. Well, I figured I'd call this uh, bluff, so I pulled off my hat <clears throat> and to my wife and jumped on over the railing. To my surprise, he motioned me over to where some people were waiting with the horse and some armor. So I thought, okay, what the hell, go along with it. Got suited up, somebody helped me onto the horse. I got handed a shield and a lance. And so, you know, and someone said, uh, have a good run, Tom. And I thought, you know, why does nobody ever get my name right? <laughs> now, looking through the slit in my helmet, I peered over to where my wife was sitting, and I noticed somebody I hadn't seen before. There was a guy standing there wearing a cowboy hat similar to mine with a confused look on his face. Now, all of the information, the little bits and pieces that I'd been taking in over the last few minutes, suddenly coagulated into one single coherent thought that sent a shock of horror through my body. They think I'm that guy. This wasn't an audience participation thing. This guy had been planted in the audience with a hat on so that he'd be, you know, easy to spot, but somehow he'd been detained and they saw me and chose me instead. <laughs> Well, at that moment, somebody slapped my horse and it started charging off to the Dark Knight, who had started charging toward me, toward me, and suddenly there's a 10-foot pole hurtling toward me at 40 miles an hour. When it was about to hit me, I just instinctively slid to the side of the saddle and twisted my body, and as I did, my lance came across my body toward the Dark Knight, and BAM! I hit him right in the shield where it was pressing against his chest and threw him flying off his horse. He landed on the ground with a thud. Now didn't get right up, which was a little bit worrisome. But the crowd was cheering, so I threw a shy aside the shield and the lance, and I raised my hands in triumph. And over the loudspeakers, I heard somebody saying something about a new champion, and I realize now I'm really in a pickle. I have no idea how to get out of this gracefully. Well, <clears throat> it's at a time like this when impromptu speaking skills come in handy. I just did the first thing which came to my mind, and that was run! I hopped off the horse, started shedding armor as I went, and I tore across the, across the field, back towards where my wife was, jumped up over the railing, grabbed the hat, put it on my head, turned back to where the uh, dark knight was just now struggling to his feet, and in my best frontier voice, I said, Well, partner, I done figure, I reckon you found yourself a worthy opponent. And with that, I turned to go. Well, he shouted back at me, Who are you? Who am I? Now, I wasn't sure at this moment that I wanted anyone to know who I was. <laughs> so, I quickly searched my mind. 
for what to say, and I thought of a movie I had seen recently. So I looked back one last time, <clears throat> tipped my hat down a little, and said, Name's Rango. <laughs> and with that, and my family by my side, we walked out of the arena and off into the sunset. Madam Toastmaster.